Section two: Basic vocabulary and grammar. Lecture one: The alphabet and its pronunciation. You're lucky. If you learn French, you don't have to learn a new alphabet, but you'll have to learn the differences in the pronunciation of the letters. If you simply take a look at the keyboard, you'll already notice a major difference. Our first role is called Azerty, while English keyboards have QWERTY instead. Still looking at the keyboard. You'll notice that we have accents on letters like U, A, and E. We also have two different versions of the letter C. Once you're done spotting the differences, we can move on to the pronunciation part of the lecture. Don't worry, you'll quickly notice if it's pronounced differently than the English alphabet. Let's start. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. About five or six letters are pronounced like in English. I'd like to highlight the difficulties of some letters of the French alphabet. The letter J sounds like the J part of Jay Z. It is super confusing to English speakers because the French J sounds like the English J. No worry, you'll get used to it. Fun fact: the letter J is frequently used in texts to shorten the J, meaning I have or I do in French, because it's pronounced the same way in English. It's the letter U that is used to shorten U. Same thing. The letter E is a really short letter, unlike the I sound in English. The G sounds like the G part of the word Jesus. Just drop the D sound, and you're good to go. Since some French speakers have a trouble with G and J too, you might hear French speakers say that David Guetta is the best French DG. Please don't laugh; they're really trying their best. While the K letter is pronounced K in English, it's pronounced like K in French. Depending on your accent, the letter O sounds similar. Q is pretty similar in both languages, except our Q is a little shorter. Fun fact: this letter is used to shorten the word Q, pronounced the same way, which means but. R is a really hard sound. The English R, as we learn it, sounds more like a W. Actually, that's how we learn it in French. You'll have to pull the Spanish out of you to pronounce this R right, but do not roll your tongue. The sound of the R is right in the middle. R. The W in French literally means double V, double V. In English, you pronounce it like W. We looked at the letter and said, "Yes,、yeah, two letters V, but next to each other, so double V." The Y letter is pronounced Y, which means Greek I. In Dutch, it's pronounced Y. Every language family seems to see this letter differently. If you are Canadian or know the pronunciation of the alphabet by a Canadian, you'll notice that we say Z the same way. Don't worry. If you're ever in trouble with spelling something in French, you can still pull the Charlie card by giving your letter and the word to confirm it. For example, C comme Charlie, S comme Sierra, F comme Foxtrot. Just like the way the police identify car tags over the radio. Now that you're familiar with the alphabet, we'll see how it's divided. In French, there's twenty-six letters, six of vowels, and twenty consonants. A, E, I, O, U, and Y. Or vowels. The rest of the alphabet: consonants.